Hello everyone and welcome to another settlement tour. This will be my Starlight Drive-In Amphitheater. I started making this quite a while back, uh, right after the um, DLC came out the with the arenas and stuff. The Wasteland Workshop DLC. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. Anyways, I started building this right after that came out, and I was intending on doing like a big tour and stuff. However, since I started doing more videos, more regular videos, and the Abernathyville, Abernathyville build, I just haven't found the time to finish this thing, and I haven't worked on it in a long time. Like, I don't know, a couple months probably, maybe in three months. And I'm kind of burned out on it. So I thought I would just show you guys what I've done. I was nearly finished. But I kind of just, yeah, I just didn't want to finish it anymore. So I'm going to show you guys what I've done with this and then call it good. Kind of give it a rest. Anyway, as you can see, Starlight Amphitheater, Life Fights, Open Air Market, Nora's Cafe. Now, keep in mind, the only DLC that was out when I made this was the Wasteland Workshop DLC. So there are no items from any of the other DLCs in here. Because I have not worked on it since any of the new ones came out. So we, we come in through this little area here. You have to pay admission at this little booth to get in. 65 caps. That's just to get in. Of course, you have to pay for everything else once you're inside. <laughs> this is a sort of a recreational settlement. There's no, like, residences here, except for the people who work here. This is a place to come and have fun. Ringside Lounge. That's where you can go and watch the fights. Uh, where is that radio coming from? There it is. I need to go turn that off real quick. Open. There we go. Okay. Alright. Anyways, back out here. This is the open air market. Oh, there's another radio. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Open air market. And... I'm not, I, I never actually finished, I never actually finished cluttering this place up. I, I had a lot of clutter in here, but some of it wasn't finished. Like I don't, like there's some shelves that are still empty a little bit. And this was before weapon racks and this is my makeshift weapon rack. That works pretty good. Especially since there's in a booth like this, there's not really anywhere to put the new weapon racks. But yeah, so I just have... I don't even have all of these assigned... Uh, have settlers assigned to any of these um, yet, so they... Uh, yeah. Now, let's come over here. Well, actually, here. So there's a clinic. I'll uh, show you just the quick inside. It's like a tiny little clinic here and this is my player characters quarters and control tower for the arena I'll show you that in a little bit it's like one of the most unfinished things in this entire settlement Nora's cafe and I've cluttered this place up pretty good it's got a merchant. I had a settlement beacon set up here since the beginning when I was trying to build this. When I started building this. And I got like three settlers ever showed up. For some reason, no, none, none ever did. So that was kind of a bummer since I wanted like a lot of settlers here. So this is the ringside lounge. This is where people can just hang out, watch fights in the arena open there we go so it's got a uh, let me close uh, turn off the radio here not pi 
<laughs> Anyways, that's the arena there. And I got... This is where people can sit to watch the fights. They've got some trash laying around. There's a bar. There's a pool table. Places to eat. Upstairs is some more viewing opportunities. What's the angle here? This is sort of the... Yeah, more like where you would eat. You can sit here and look out over the, the arena. So, we've got several different areas where animals could okay. be caged or whatever, or people or whatever. And, of course, the Deathclaw cage. And that's the control tower. See, it's all wired up. I can control all the doors from that room, that one room, and I'll show it to you now. It's not ready for fights. I don't actually have any animals in there at the moment because... Well, I just haven't caught any. I was waiting until I was done with this settlement. I had caught a death claw at one point, but I killed it. Anyway, so these are all of the, the doors numbered from 1 to 9. So, 1 being that white door down there, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, blah. So, mode. I can open no. the doors the from here. Shut up, Piper! See? And you can close them. So, let out the animals or the people. And the Deathclaw cage has one as well. I think it's this one, but it only works if there's actually an animal in there. <laughs> Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but and um, I made all this wiring before I discovered the wire glitch. So, I think I would probably do it different now. I'm not sure. I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> I just, I've never really cared for the whole arena aspect of the DLC. I've never actually held a fight. An official one. I've made, an I've made cages and I've trapped animals and I've let them go and I've killed them. But I haven't actually staged a fight in this arena yet. And... I really don't care to. I, it's not something I was ever interested in doing. I liked all of the extra stuff that came with the DLC to build with. That's what I. That's why I liked it. The other side of Nora's Cafe. Yes. And this is the Starlight Hotel, which is my crowning achievement, I think, for this whole settlement. I had so much fun making this hotel. And decorating the inside so I'm going to show you guys that here's the reception room places for people to sit around and uh, here's the the checkout check-in desk whatever <laughs> and the continental breakfast bar I got so people can eat serve themselves coffee and food and these are the rooms I got them numbered and they're all really basic rooms they they just have some have two beds and some have one so somebody is using this one but so see they're all they're all basically the same like like a hotel room is like hotels are you know they have generally the same types of rooms so some people are staying in some of them and upstairs we got some more rooms I used the abstract art sort of as a wallpaper I thought it just brightened up the the drab concrete walls so yeah so there's a little seating area up here more rooms and this is the big ex some some rooms are extra big and have more than one bed in them yeah I really like this hotel I liked how it turned out it's very modern and nice I like it <laughs> 
And then I have this really big wall on the back because right, and we stand to make a whole lot of money. Oh, McCready, I didn't even know I had him here. Because there's a big hill behind it, right? And with just one layer, there was you could just like shoot right over the wall. You could just stand you could practically jump over the wall. Now um this was kind of floating because it's on a on a hill and this I made this before the the pillar glitch was I think before it was even known about like nobody was using it yet and I didn't know about it so I didn't know I could sink the walls into the ground so I used all this junk to hide the fact that this round part here is floating so eh, it worked you know it worked <laughs> Nowadays, I would just sink it into the ground a little yeah, bit. To be honest with you, so. feel more comfortable with this is the rental... This is the hotel for the poor people who can barely pay entrance fee. Or they spend all their money on the entrance fee and now they don't have room for the hotel. So, I didn't clutter it up yet. It's just a bunch of sleeping bags. So, I meant to put some clutter and stuff in there, but... Anyways, so... Yeah, that is basically my my uh, settlement, and I have the inside of this, you know, stocked with food and dishes and stuff like that. Places for people to sit outside and enjoy their food, and you know, I have of course the guard posts and stuff up here, which isn't like. Terribly exciting. <laughs> and that is Starlight Amphitheater. Outdoor market. Yeah. Lounge. All that kind of thing. So. Anyway, you guys. I, I just wanted to give you a quick tour. And... Oh. I forgot to say. Back here is where the people would fight. So I had these rooms so that I could have the people come in, you know, settlers. The door would be closed and the other side, they would be on the other side too. You know, blue team and red team. And then I would open the doors from the control room and they would come out and shoot each other or whatever. Yeah. But it didn't, uh, I didn't actually use any of it. I haven't actually... So I don't even know if it will work. Um, I have some cages back here where I kept animal... Where I would keep animals. Um, this is not not all finished, but I don't actually have cages in them. Oh, and this building is... Was going to be... Just the my workroom maintenance room but I haven't actually cluttered it up or anything I haven't put anything in here and I probably won't and the reason why I have all these generators is because this character doesn't have high enough science to get the fusion generator because he's actually a pretty low level character I think he's level 11 or something like that anyway I say. anyway you guys so this is Starlight Amphitheater, and I'm kind of just going to lay it to rest. It's uh, It was fun to build it when all this stuff was new, but now I, it kind of got overwhelming, and I just didn't really want to finish it. And the fact that no settlers were coming for some reason, it kind of just put a damper on it because it seems really empty without people. I mean... There are five settlers here, and three of them are companions that I sent here. <laughs> so, it's like, that guy and that guy are the only other ones here. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do a nighttime run-through real quick, and uh, that'll be it. So, let me know in the comments how, how, what you think of it, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.